Hi food lovers, my name is Adrian and I love food. Thank you for joining me again. Today we're in Ipswich where we are checking out the best German restaurant. According to TripAdvisor, there is one German restaurant in Ipswich and that is Heisenberg House. Opened in December of 2015 by Dale and Karen, a husband and wife team who tapped into their German heritage as an inspiration for the venture, opening the first German restaurant in Ipswich. The owners brought on board their two sons, Stephen and Andrew, to create a true family-owned and operated business which combines German classics with Aussie favourites. According to the owners, our menu is a celebration of Australian and German cuisine. We have an Austrian chef and we serve all the classics like pork belly, pork knuckle and also schnitzels. Besides the classics, they offer a variety of mains for lunch and dinner as well as a number of appetizers, sides, desserts, a kids menu, as well as gluten-free, vegetarian and vegan options. It wouldn't be a proper German restaurant without authentic German beer. According to the owners, we only have premium German beers on tap. Our beer garden is the most beautiful place to have a stain in hand and a good time with great friends. Being fully licensed, they also offer a number of spirits, liqueurs, schnapps, cocktails, as well as soft drinks. According to the urbanlist.com, Heisenberg House is a stunning German joint with the best nibblies this side of Bavaria. Dig into your favorite German dish and top it off with apple strudel for dessert and you may just convince yourself that you are dining in the lovely streets of Hamburg. And on that note, Let's go order and see just how awesome they actually are. Hey guys, so I just placed my order. Uh, until the food comes out, I, uh, I'll just fill you guys in on what's been happening. So can I just start off by saying the customer service has been brilliant. Um, from the moment we arrived in this place, uh, we were greeted. Um, we were shown to our table. Uh, we were taken through the menu. Um, I asked them about their signature dishes and their popular dishes and, and um, the girl that served me was more than happy to, uh, to explain things, to go through different options. So customer service so far has been fantastic. Um, they, they brought us water to our table without even having to ask. I mean, that is customer service. That is table service right there. Um, they also asked us if we would like any other drinks and uh, I said, no, thank you. I'm, I'm good with just water. So, um, what I want to mention um, is that their, their, their dinner menu is slightly different to their lunch menu. Now, what I ordered, or one of the dishes that I ordered, being the pork knuckle, is only part of their dinner menu. Now, what I had to do when I uh, rang yesterday I, um, to, to make my, my booking, I spoke to, to Karen, the, the co-owner, um, and I said I would like a, um, a pork knuckle for lunch. And she said, that's fine, no problem. She said, we can organize that, but we need 24 hour notice. So, um, so that was organized, I said, from yesterday. Uh, the um, uh, pork knuckle is one kilogram. And uh, yeah, look, I, I, I don't remember exactly what it was on it because this is the, the lunch menu, but um, We'll, we'll recap that when it comes out. Now, what else I did order um, was the, uh, the chicken schnitzel. So the choice was either chicken or pork schnitzel. It said with a side, with a side salad um, and German potato salad with onions, gherkins and bacon. Um, now, I was asked if I'd like any sauce with that and I chose to have the mushroom gravy sauce. Uh, the pork knuckle comes with a beer um, gravy sauce. So I, that way I, we can try the two different options. Um, for dessert, what I ordered was the apple strudel because that's one of the most um, iconic German desserts. And based on their recommendation here, I also ordered the sticky date pudding as well with vanilla ice cream and caramel sauce. Um, so, so far, everything has been 10 out of 10. Um, I, I really look forward to that, that food coming out and, 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 and sampling that. Um, the other thing I was going to mention is about the ratings of this particular restaurant. So according to Google, uh, out of 734 reviews, they've got a rating of 4.5 out of 5 stars. Um, on TripAdvisor, from 215 reviews, they got a rating of 4.0 out of 5. So yes, this might be the only restaurant in Ipswich, 
but it's got some brilliant reviews and um, I was very, very excited to, to come here and, uh, and check it out for myself. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Wow, yeah, yeah, both of them right here. Wow. Oh, fantastic, thank you very much. Wow, the smells, unbelievable. Wow, I mean, check that out. It, it, it smells unbelievable. Now, what do I get stuck into? Um, maybe try the chicken schnitzel. As you guys would have seen from my, uh, my previous video, uh, I mentioned that my mom makes the best chicken schnitzels. I'm not being biased. I'm just, you know, it, it's fact. So we'll see what these ones taste like. Wow, that is really good. Mmm. Very crunchy, the coating. Soft on the inside. Now, I ordered the um, mushroom gravy with this. So let's check out the mushroom gravy. Oh man. The flavor of that sauce, unbelievable. Wow. That is, this is orgasmic, guys. Mm. That is unbelievable. Now, let's try this um, potato salad. Okay. Yeah, I can taste the gherkins. Sweet. Hmm. It is good. It is good. Now let's try the uh, the green salad. Salad. It's a good green salad, but it's a green salad. Hmm. I gotta try me this um this schnitzel. This is brilliant. Oh. The combination of the already orgasmic schnitzel with the orgasmic sauce, with the orgasmic sauce. Oh, it's 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 unbelievable. Mm. Wow. Really, really good. This is a knockout dish right here. Mm. 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 Now, let's put it on the side and try the, um, the pork knuckle. Unbelievable. Where do I start? Um, Oh. oh, that is very crunchy mm. and very hot for my fingers. Out. Uh, try a bit of the crackling first. Mm. Oh man. Oh, that is, that is unbelievable. Let's try a bit of the, a bit of the meat here. Mm -hmm. Soft, very good. Now, let's try it closer to the bone, because that's always where it's, um, unless it's cooked properly, it's gonna be really tough. Closer to the bone. Mmm, it's good. Very, very, very good. Now, what I'm keen to try, very hot for my fingers, ow. Uh, I'm keen to try the, um, the beer gravy. That's what I'm keen to try. Look at the steam coming off this thing. Very hot, but very good. Mm. 
Oh man. Don't know what this is, but let's try it out. Not sure, actually. Um, maybe like polenta or um, potato or something. Tastes good, though. Mm. Full of flavor. Oh, unbelievable. Let's try more of this crackling. Oh man. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Mm. Now, the sauerkraut. Let's see how well balanced they have this. Shoo. Um. It's definitely sour. Probably a little sour for my taste. But it is good. It is good. As I said, just perhaps a little, a little bit too sour for me. But the flavors of, of the sauce, the flavors of the hawk, and whatever that is, brilliant. Mm. Oh man. Let me go back to the schnitzel. Try the schnitzel again with the uh, mushroom gravy sauce. Mm. The flavor in the schnitzel and the sauce, knockout dishes. Absolutely knockout dishes. And it's a decent sized serve, I mean one kilogram. And they're, they're very well priced as well. I don't know what that is, but tastes good. And I guess that's ultimately what it comes down to. The food has to taste good, whatever I eat. Whether it's, you know, this or vegan or vegetarian or desserts or you name it. It needs to, to pack a lot of flavor. It, it needs to, to have the, the taste. Mm. Oh man. Mm. Brilliant. Now, I'll finish eating and um, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Mm. Mm. Hey guys, just finished eating. Um, the uh, lady just picked up our plates and she said that the dessert should only be a couple of minutes away. Oh, you have oh wow, yes, right here, please. Uh, the sticky date. date, thank you very much. Check this out. This is a uh, one fancy looking apple strudel. Now, I've had a few apple strudels in my life and I've never seen it this fancy before. And, uh, and the sticky date, oh, that smells very, very sweet. <clears throat> anyway, um, look, let's get stuck into the, um, say the apple strudel. Very good. The custard, delicious. Very good. <clears throat> the ice cream. It's okay. It's okay. It's not bad. <clears throat> it's got a bit of flavor. Well, quite a bit of flavor. <clears throat> but it, maybe it's a little bit icy for me. Yeah. Maybe it's a little bit too icy for me, but it's got really good flavor. Now. Wow, that is, that is crunchy. <clears throat> Mm. 
love that apple flavor. Not overly sweet. Just the right amount of tartness as well. I almost think I need a knife to cut it though. <clears throat> the pastry. Yeah, very thin the pastry. It's got good flavor though. Mm. Some really good flavors there. Now, the sticky date. Yeah, extremely sweet, extremely sweet. The ice cream though, I think it's the same ice cream as the, um, the other dish. Yeah, same ice cream. As you guys know, I'm not a, I'm not a sweet tooth, but I do like my sweets. Very light. Very airy, very fluffy. Very good. A lot of flavor. Huge amount of flavor. And that's what <clears throat> food is all about to me. Being first and foremost, packing with, oozing with flavor, and also being, you know, a reasonable size because you eat, because you want to get full. Very, 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 very good. All right, guys, I'll, um, I'll finish eating and I'll see you guys soon with, uh, with the verdict. Hey guys, just finished eating. So let me start off uh, talking about the customer service. So there were three girls that served us today. Um, the main one was Kate. And can I just say the customer service has been brilliant absolutely brilliant easily a 10 out of 10. Um, from the moment we stepped foot inside they came here a number of times to see if they can get us anything else and um, if if they can help with anything if if we'd like drinks or you know whatever else so the customer service top notch brilliant 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 now <clears throat> let's talk about the mains so we'll uh, we'll start off with the pork knuckle first so <clears throat> The, uh, the pork knuckle um, was, was cooked very well, um, it packed tons of flavor, um, the meat was soft all the way to the bone, um, the crackling was extremely crunchy, the, the round ball that I wasn't sure what it was, whether it was like polenta or something, turned out it was a potato dumpling, um, it tasted very good, uh, I just couldn't really pick what it was. Um, the the beer smoked gravy was brilliant was fantastic the only downside was that the container that it came in was far too small i mean the amount of flavor that that packed and the size of that knuckle that should have come in a half a liter one liter container it was that good so overall easily a 10 out of 10 for that dish brilliant 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 now with the uh chicken schnitzel um so I found the chicken to be really well cooked. Uh, the coating on the outside was crunchy. Um, for me personally, um, I like that, that extra hit of flavor. Um, and while it packed a good amount of flavor, um, I found reaching for the salt and the pepper a couple of times there. Um, but as I said, otherwise cooked to perfection. The, the German potato salad, was really good i mean it had radishes and spring onions and it was a really 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 good salad um the sauce the mushroom gravy like the smoky beer gravy sauce was brilliant but again the same problem you know that the top that it came in was far too small i mean you know, uh, based on the size of that schnitzel, you sort of wanted to bathe it in the, um, in, in the mushroom um, sauce. So, you, you know, to my liking, it should have been about, you know, a whole glass full of the, um, 
the mushroom gravy sauce. It was that good. So for me, again, that was a, a, a 10 out of 10. As I said, even though I like to, you know, add a little bit more salt and pepper to the, to the chicken schnitzel. Now, the, uh, the desserts, <clears throat> uh, the sticky date, um, you know, I think that was really good. Uh, it was very soft, very, very airy, very fluffy, um, packed a good amount of flavor, uh, like the apple strudel. I thought that that was really well balanced the 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 sweetness with the tartness um, for me personally though the the pastry wasn't how I like it and how I've had it in the past um, the, the pastry here in the apple strudel seemed to be very thin and very sort of hard very crunchy um, you know I like my pastry more more uh, flaky more you know more sort of fluffy um, so for me, yeah, look, I've never had that sort of pastry before. Um, I didn't mind it, but I certainly wouldn't have it as my first choice of pastry compared to the more traditional flaky pastry. The apple strudel also had cinnamon and sultanas through it. So those flavors um, were definitely coming through. Lastly, um, the ice cream on both of those dishes, which was exactly the same. Now, look, I, I can't help to compare with the likes of the gelato shop. Um, you know, the gelato shop I, was very smooth, very creamy. Um, by comparison, I found this one to be a little bit icy. So it wasn't, you know, anywhere as smooth or as, as creamy as, as ice cream probably should be. Um, so for that reason, I'll give both of the desserts around a 9, maybe the apple strudel may be closer to an 8 because of the pastry, um, but the flavors were definitely there, 100% there. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. See you guys next time, and remember, never trust a skinny food critic.